Good evening. Today is the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass this evening is being offered for David and Rosa. This week's second collection is for heat and energy. Our Apple Dumpling Fest is this weekend, Saturday until 6 p.m., and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There is an insert in this week's bulletin of 40 $200 prizes, four big prize tables valued at $400, chances on better and 50-50, batch bake sale, and great soup sales. Monday is the Feast of All Saints. Mass at Holy Cross will be at 8.30 in the morning. Mass at St. Clair will be at 6.30 p.m. Rosary at 6. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament until 8. Confession until 8 p.m. And then night prayer and benediction at 8 p.m. Tuesday is the Feast of All Souls. Mass is at St. Clair at 8 a.m. in the morning. Mass at Holy Cross is 6.30 in the evening. Recitation of the Rosary is at 6 p.m. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament from 7 to 8 p.m. And confessions at 8 p.m. at Holy Cross. The Mass Book for 2020 opens next week. Please consult the bulletin for information and coordinating report announcements. Help is needed to make Christmas probies. Please consult the bulletin for more important announcements about that. And please see the bulletin for Holy Cross Christmas candy sale. Donations of turkey are needed to assist the Holy Apostles Church with Thanksgiving Day dinner. Please pray with me the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, the protection against the snares of the devil, may God be with you on the prayer, and do not let all sins of the most. By the power of God, cast into one side, and all the evil spirits, who God out the world, seek the evil of souls. Amen. Our entrance in this number 594. God, we praise you. Hymn number 594. Please rise and pray to Father Bill.
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the book of Deuteronomy, Moses spoke to the people, saying, Fear the Lord your God, and keep throughout the days of your lives all his statutes and commandments, which I enjoin on you, and thus have them in mind. Hear then, Israel, and be careful to observe them, that you may grow and prosper the more, in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God and Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words, which I enjoy on you today, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, O Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, extol be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your king, and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. Reading from the letter to the Hebrews, brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many, because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he was always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercessions for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priest, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins, and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests. But the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who had been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Which is the 
the first of all of the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is the one, there is no other than He. And to love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than any burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that He had answered with understanding, He said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Two weeks ago, I went to the drugstore to get a flu shot. And, you know, when you go to the drugstore for a flu shot, it's there, but sometimes you have to sit and wait a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm sitting there in a the little chair waiting for the pharmacist to come and call my name. And this man has a seat next to me. And, you know, sometimes wearing a collar in public has its disadvantages. <laughs> you know? I'm sitting there and being very quiet. And the guy looks at me and he says, Hey, you a priest? <laughs> yes, sir, I am. And the exchange, where are you a priest and all this other stuff. He says, let me ask you a question. How comes you priests don't preach about sin and hell anymore? And I said, well, sir, I think we do. What do you mean? And he says, you know, those homilies that they used to preach back in the old days.
But the last couple of lines, may we fear the pain of sin more than any disease. The gospel today is the gospel that is our vaccination and how to get to heaven. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, with all your strength. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. We cannot love God unless we love our neighbor. We cannot love our neighbor unless we're concerned about their well-being and they're concerned about ours. So we ask the Lord to help us during all the difficult times in our lives when it's so very hard to love someone. Where it's so very hard for us to put someone ahead of ourselves. Where it's even more difficult to be able to love God than to want to do it our way, which is sin. So then today, this is a very significant gospel for us. Are we far from the kingdom of heaven in the way that we look at the world, ourselves, and our lives? I want to thank all of you who got the message out about Mass being moved indoors tonight. Um, it uh, was a crapshoot, you know, once again with the weather, and things were too wet. So I appreciate you watching the Facebook, letting other people know. And it was just too quick to get everything set up in the parking lot. Next week, next Saturday, for the month of November, we will be doing Mass in the parking lot until we get COVID under control, and I hope this month of November will be that month where we get COVID under control here in the county, and uh, because we just have too many cases of it right now in the hospital and elsewhere. Um, and then hopefully in December, uh, when it gets really cold, we'll be able to come in here in our, our, our beautiful church. And once again, though, the church is physically peeling, it's beautiful, but the people in the pews are even more beautiful and more appealing. And it lets us know how much God loves us and cares for us. You heard the announcements, I won't beat them to death, but we're in the midst of probably our most important fundraiser, even though all our fundraisers are important, but our most important fundraiser I want to thank all of our parishioners and benefactors who have helped us out. As you heard, we got $4,200 prizes, so that's well over $8,000 right there in prizes. Um, we got some prizes that, four prizes that are worth between four and $500, uh, which was really a great sacrifice to so many people. So there's a lot of good prizes, and hopefully you got your orders in, because uh, I hear the apple dumplings are scrumptious and the hot roast beef is, is so, uh, you know, if you can, uh, help support us. And uh, tomorrow we are open 10 to 2, and the drawing will fall at 2 o'clock. So maybe you can coerce some of your friends and neighbors to come around. Have a great evening.
and even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom he raised up Jesus from the dead, we hold for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Deliver all. 
cross, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Our hymn can be found in our supplement. It's number 19, Taste and See. In the supplement, 19, Taste and See.
Please join with me in the prayer to end the coronavirus. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to God and protect us from coronavirus from COVID-19 and our own spirits. For all that have died for the and have mercy. For those who are